Let me know when y'all are ready. I'm ready. I was born. I'm, I'm ready. I'm good to go. I'm ready. Welcome to episode two of our insanely gripping Emmy Award winning Sonic the Hedgehog serial drama. Um, this uh, Brandy is nominated is, for some reason. We don't actually know how it, how we yeah, got. We yeah, don't know. we got the award. It was a Sonic I guess the music was pretty good in it. The uh, people were mm -hmm. starving for more of this. Yeah, there was a secret mm -hmm. musical number that was pretty epic. Um, yeah. Last episode, lots of stuff happened. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. The, the the main cliffhanger is that Sonic the Hedgehog, presumed to be dead, has been brought to life in human form. Um, heard the prophecy. Yeah, there's some oh, stuff God. about a prophecy. Yeah, the prophecy. There's some stuff about uh, Eggman, Tails, and Jason King, and uh, Amy, and uh, just a but like most of the Gumby. cast being a part of this like government mm -hmm. organization. Gumby's, Gumby's there. there. Well, I just yeah. I just came up with a joke to add okay. to the ones that yeah. we, that were said earlier. Go uh, ahead. Right. And, and this is definitely not going to date it. This was the reason that Facebook went down uh, two days ago. So <laughs> very, very good. This yeah. So this joke will not date the video whatsoever. <laughs> no, it I is never the video, but two, two days ago. ago. Yeah, <laughs> two days. Two days ago. Two days ago. Really fucked up. This if you, if very you fucking... specific trackable thing happened. <laughs> the incident. Um, the incident. Two days ago. Other development. <laughs> include Shadow and Elise escaped off uh, to find Earth, I guess, because I guess they're not on yeah. Earth. Uh, the city of Station Square was destroyed um, and other developments. So uh, here we are. Uh, there was a brief mention of how they had to stop a demon and that they did it, but then there was the ultimate life form and Elise's cyber drive. Yeah, and, you know. the ulti well, I, I assume the ultimate life form is also anymore? dead. That's I yes. still yes. firmly believe Presume. that this was based on Revelation, but continue. Like the Bible? Yes, like the Bible. Okay. Much like the Bible. It's identical, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog the in the Bible. There's a lot of crossover there. Uh, are we ready he's for kind of a, yeah, he's kind yeah, of a you know. Christ-like figure. You know we ready for you know, episode yeah, having two? A selfless, having a selfless I am hero, multiplying fish, Judas is there. Mm -hmm. So everyone is reprising their roles uh, from the previous episode, but there are a couple additive characters that I have given to the cast. We don't have to read them off just because they're not... They're not all main characters, so uh, we'll just we'll, you'll we'll figure them out as they come along. Yo. Robbie, feel free to feel free to start us off whenever. Episode yeah, two. Yeah. All right. Uh, interior city hall day. Jason King, the mayor, stands in awe in the middle of city hall office. In front of him stands Amy Rouge, Knuckles, Eggman, Tails, Silver, and most importantly, most shockingly, Sonic the Hedgehog, back from the dead. Except even more surprising than the fact that Sonic is alive is the fact that Sonic is clearly no longer a hedgehog. He has transformed oh, really, into a notice. human man. As to how either of these things occurred, no one knows why. <laughs> yeah, not, no Except one. Oh my god, you can't just ask someone why they're a human man. <laughs> <laughs> why are you a human man? The prophecy has been fulfilled. That was the whole entire point of this plan. You were dead, you're alive, the world has gone to shit. It's gone to heaven compared to what it was, that's for sure. Damn, what? scathing politics. How, what happened to you? It's a long story. I was brought back to life, though. Okay. By <laughs> you? <laughs> Why would they go through all that trouble? He did it for Amy. one reason. To beat you, Jason King. <laughs> he said he wouldn't rest until he put an end to you. He brought me back to life so I could battle you. He put me up to this so none of his kind would have to fight. <laughs> Did this to you, Daedalus? Chuckling, <laughs> that crazy <laughs> bastard. I told him to his face that he was crazy, and I was right. Apparently, yeah, I was right. <laughs> I, love chuckling. I love how he says it like he's in a fucking like like he's an old like lumberjack in a pub. Like uh, I told him to that crazy bastard. <laughs> that you know, I told him to his face that he was he's crazy. Out of a bitch. <laughs> that old so and so, he's still kicking. <laughs> yeah, ask, ask the wife. <laughs> Sonic maintains a stone face expression, despite the fact that Jason is laughing at him. Sonic slowly walks forward. Sonic grabs hold of the laughing, guffawing mayor. Sonic leaps into the air, and Sonic brings his knee up. Sonic, mm -hmm. with one swift motion, headbutts the mayor in the nose. I thought we were gonna get a fucking. I thought we were gonna get a fucking like um. And so I will break you. <laughs> Blood starts trickling down his nose. Sonic pulls his arm back, 
and quickly slaps the mayor with both hands. Why we leave me, Discombobulate. <laughs> the mayor stops laughing. Was he laughing at Sonic with a start? Yeah, yeah just, yeah, just, just laughing well, until he was losing it. <laughs> the mayor swiftly backs up and starts shaking. He's absolutely terrified. What? Sonic slowly stands back up with an extremely dark look in his eyes. His pupils have transformed into that of a reptilian creature. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's also that's also what Eggman said when he first saw Super Sonic. What I'm, the fuck? I'm sorry. I tried so hard to contain it. Sonic leaps forward and tackles the mare. They both fall down onto the cold stone ground. The two begin to wrestle. Sonic clearly the has the upper hand, dominating the older man. He lands yeah. a devastating elbow right to the center of the mare's face. <laughs> Sonic, stop! You've made your point. Sonic doesn't stop. He picks the mare up off the ground with two hands and Don't takes it over stop. his head. He's already dead. The mare flies in the air, flipping upside down. He slams onto the ground, oh, back first. The mare starts coughing up blood onto the white flooring. He gets up and stares at the blood on the floor. <laughs> you didn't need to do that. Sonic pushes him over again. <laughs> Sonic leaps onto his chest oh and starts God. punching him in the face oh repeatedly. Oh <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, ultra violent. <laughs> it just. It, it, Sonic the Hedgehog just hit him with ferocious intensity. Stop him. He smashes the mayor's face into a bloody what pulp. Great. Sonic suddenly stops. He jumps off the mayor and walks away. Damn. <coughs> Boy. Oh, whatever he did to you, he paid the price. You can have your city back. You beat me. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic City. <laughs> Woohoo! Sonic doesn't this, say a word. At this rate, Sonic be the president. Sonic turns around and looks at the mayor. Sonic snarls, showing his teeth. <laughs> I can't believe my fucking dog has better comedic timing than I ever will. <laughs> no, this ain't over yet. The mayor looks up at him in fear. Sonic leaps into the air. He gains momentum and comes crashing down, slamming his foot into the mayor's chest. The blow knocks the wind out of him and causes him to fall into unconsciousness. Sonic gets This is a political assassination! He starts to walk away. Wait! What about the- I'm done here. Sonic exits the room, leaving a trail of blood behind him. Could be a child's hospital. He leaves City Hall and looks at the burned-out husk of a town around him. Sonic smiles for the first time in what feels like years. The town? It's his. Oh, yes. oh, 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 That's God. fucking odd. What the okay, hell? Wait. wait, Penny, was that you? No, that wasn't me. <laughs> Are you, what? <laughs> Happy so Halloween, everybody! <laughs> Sonic.exe real? More like Sonic EXT, get it? Because, like, the script? Because it's the exterior, the forest. Day. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Uh -huh. nice. Shadow of the Hedgehog and Princess Elise are sitting side by side on a rock, staring up at the clouds. I didn't know you played an instrument, Shadow. Yeah, I know how to play the piano. Well, I guess not me specifically, my user did. What the fuck does that You're, mean? you're, you're what? <laughs> what? I am not in a video game. They know they're in a video Tron? game. Yeah, looks at camera. Wait, is this, like, this is fucking like a Ready Player One. Is this Wait, are like we fucking, fucking reboot? What is this? <laughs> I was gonna say, are we in fucking Rude Mountain right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're so interesting, you know that? I always felt like we had a lot in common. I guess we do. At least <laughs> leans over and kisses Shadow on the cheek. Great. <laughs> Shadow's face Aww. is filled with shock. He's blushing and is unsure of what to do. Um... Was that really necessary? <laughs> Why not? Well, because... Come on, you're way too serious. Live a little. I... I just don't think this is right. Yes. Why not? I don't know. 
We're not married. Fuck <laughs> off. You little Christian. Shadow the Hedgehog is a Mormon. Conservative shadow. You must live by my one mantra. No ringy, no dingy. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Suddenly, Shadow's communicator goes off. Shadow, we need you back at the Chaotix building. We've got another mission for you. We've been getting a lot of requests for you lately. I'm not really in the mood right now, Vector. Can't you get someone else? What kind of mission? It could be anything. Surveillance, search and rescue, investigating an odd noise. You know the deal. <laughs> wow. You must be really good at what you do. <laughs> Apparently not, seeing as I'm turning down work. Well, I guess I better get going. It was nice seeing you. Even if you were being a downer at first. And it was nice kissing you, too. <laughs> what the fuck? That was disgusting to say. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I was, like, I'm I, sorry. I was shocked at how much you fucking sold that line, because, like, it's like... <laughs> yeah, it's, it sucks. Princess Elise first, has this in her contract in... for every single, like, work of fiction that uses her likeness. A hedgehog must be kissed in every single work of fiction. Oh, it's my in her God. contract. She's a it's serial hedgehog kisser. She's kind of a freak. <laughs> first, <laughs> first and foremost... Freak lady. First and foremost, <laughs> ew. Second, <laughs> Shadow, did you hear me? <laughs> uh, th yeah, I I'll be right there. Interior, Chaotix building, day. Shadow enters the building where Vector is waiting for him. There you are, Shadow. Where were you? None of your business. What's the job? Surveillance job. We need you to keep an eye on a potential suspect. Who? So some scientists working at a facility called Skyguard. What's he up to? I'm assuming that he's male. <laughs> <laughs> I love assumptions. Who knows? Probably nothing good. Just keep an eye on him. We'll pay you the standard fee for this. Okay, so I don't know about Sonic lore, but I don't think is that I don't think that's what Chaotix does, is it? Nope. Nope. No. 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 Awesome. The Chaotix are an investigation uh, agency. They don't work with Shadow. <laughs> but awesome. I guess he's just here. Yeah, I but I guess. guess I guess I guess they just don't want to work. So they're just outsourcing now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're just outsourcing. They're they want to take the a other, vacation. Yeah, the the other members are just chilling out. They need they need. Yeah, it's Charmy's birthday. It's Charmy's <laughs> birthday, and we need someone to cover. I'm trying to get him a birthday cake. <laughs> and if I find out he's up to something? We'll pay you double! <laughs> oh, all right. But, uh, you do realize this is an odd job, right? I'm going to take that one again. <laughs> no, but, uh, I liked it. You do realize this is an odd job, right? What do you mean? Well, it's an odd job. The main job is you just have to watch this guy. If anything happens... Break the window of his car. <laughs> Robin Blind. Robin Blind. Take care of his stuff. If you get what I'm saying. <laughs> if any of happens. The signal is oh. set fire to his house. <laughs> if anything happens, break the window of his car and we'll know you need backup. I like that Vector be a is just like signal. explaining the concept of like side quests. <laughs> yeah. <Shadow. laughs> well, Whoa. it's a side quest. <laughs> also, I like this follow-up question of, but what if I need backup? <laughs> God. Well, I think, I think I think he just stopped listening after break the window of his car. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just got so giddy he was lost in the fantasy of it. <laughs> Don't you think if you need backup that we'll already know and we'll be there? I mean, we've got a satellite over the city. We got drones watching from the sky, <laughs> and we got invisible satellites too. Then why the fuck is Shadow here? This is a chaotic Patriot. Not that. He's fucking the city state, the surveillance city state <laughs> run by chaotics. <laughs> Turns out he was doing that Batman shit before Just Batman started God, being here. We, we put tracking chips into everybody with the coronavirus vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> We're deep in the government's pockets, Shadow. <laughs> Why do you think Batman we set up the these idea. 5G towers? <laughs> Turns out I was Big Brother the whole time. How do... 
<laughs> How do you know they're invisible? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Why does he keep asking questions like this? <laughs> wait, Listen, wait, I'm wait, just uh, asking questions, answer, okay? Coming up. Best answer makes perfect yeah. sense. Listen. It's easy! Just look for the guy in the t- <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Go <laughs> <laughs> again, go it again, go it again. Sorry. <laughs> Just look for the guy in the tight suit and the sunglasses walking around. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honey. <laughs> It Got explains it. so much. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Listen, just look for Agent Smith, okay? Yeah. <laughs> funny. God. It was so, funny, to be fair. Do you accept the job? Sure, why not? Might be good to get my mind off of things. Glad to hear it! Charmy B enters the room. Hey, everyone, it's me, Charmy <laughs> <Whoa. B. laughs> That's That's not the fucking voice I'm doing. <laughs> Shannon, oh I heard you were taking the job. What are you doing here, Charlemagne? <laughs> <laughs> Charlemagne B? Charlemagne B? Can I wait, 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 wait. I love this Same. exchange. Same. I love this yeah. exchange. Keep reading, keep reading. Yeah, keep I love reading, this keep reading, keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. I work here. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> You're not smart enough to do any of the stuff that requires a Misogyny shadow! Shut the fuck up! Charlie B is dead. Oh, <laughs> Charlemagne B found Charlie dead on his B. birthday. I, I'm, I'm worried that I, I'm worried that that's gonna be like the only line we see of Charmy, and like he just shows up just to get no, fucking Charmy slaughtered. No, Charmy does show up again. <laughs> just to get oh, yelled oh. at. Fuck, could you imagine? You are not smart enough to do any of the stuff that requires <laughs> a brain. Charmy, you yes. yellow fuck! How dare you be born in my world? Interior City Hall, evening. Amy Rouge, Knuckles, Eggman, Tails, and Silver gather around the Book of Prophecies. It is closed on the table. We're almost ready for tonight. I just need to do one more check on the Book of Prophecies to make sure everything is in order. Okay, let's... Oh, wait, hold on. Give me one second. Give me one sec. Okay, let me just... Let's see. Yeah! Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Let's go! <laughs> let's see. The one known as Shadow will find himself at a crossroad. Will he save the world or allow it to burn? Tails turns to silver. So, did you bring it? I've got it right here. Silver takes out a black cube with glowing buttons on it. What? What, what is that? A place to- <laughs> <laughs> That's just a <laughs> Oh man, oh man. Oh man. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay. You know, a PlayStation oh, 2! <laughs> Black Cube with glowing buttons like on it. Good. A PlayStation 2? They don't have them here? I've heard of them, but never seen one. I didn't know that they were so small now. It's a lot smaller. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to understand what that means. <laughs> yeah, they got the You'll slim see. model. This is yeah, slim. slim, it's a PlayStation Slim. It, it's a lot smaller than the last one. What are you two doing? We need to focus. What are you two fucking talking about? <laughs> I'm focused, and this will help me focus. Silver puts the PS2 on the table. Tails turns to Knuckles. <laughs> it's fine, Knuckles. He needs to concentrate. Just keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't break anything. The PlayStation 2 startup noise it, it starts in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Silver turns the knuckles. It'll be fine. I just need to do this. Silver puts in the game and turns on the PS2. It shows a familiar sight. Ah, here it is. Silver grabs a pad of paper and a pen. He begins to sketch the screen. <laughs> no, Silver, the TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. The main character is a black hedgehog with red shoes. Oh my god. There's the logo. Did he, did he pull yeah. No, just hold on. Just, just keep reading. Just keep going. Just keep going. Is, is that who I think it is? Yeah. It's Shadow the Hedgehog. 
Knuckles picks up the cube from the table and stares at it in disbelief. What are you doing? This game, <laughs> it's nonfiction. You're what? playing Shadow's Life. What the fuck? <laughs> put that down. It's expensive. Penny, why did you put Shadow the Hedgehog fan dub spoilers in this? I, I, this is all fucking AI dungeon, I assure no. you. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, my oh, my do, do oh my god. Oh so my god. Do you remember a scene or two ago when Shadow the Hedgehog was like, well, you know, my operator knows how to play yeah. piano. Oh, no, 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 I am, so, I am telling you, we have to keep going. There is some <laughs> shit in this one. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. okay, keep going, keep going. Shadow appears on the screen. Here he is. That's the main character. Knuckles stares at the screen. Is this true? I can't li I can't lie to you, Knuckles. You deserve the truth. The camera slowly zooms in on Silver as the screen turns to the Sega logo. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Interior, Skyguard, evening. Shadow stands looking out the window at the city of Acorn in the distance. He walks away from the window and turns to face the door. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Oh my god. Oh I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. Are there Fun. any other shadows I should know about? No, I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. The door opens. Shadow looks to see who it is. He sees... A small flying robot, about the size of a soccer ball, floats into the room. Shadow hides so as not to compromise his position. He has to find... <laughs> what? He has to find the scientist he was supposed to keep an eye on. He can't let him leave. The robot floats around the room, scanning the ground. It stops, scanning the bed Shadow was lying on. The robot looks around the room, confused. It lifts up into the air, flying out of the room. Shadow stays put, waiting to see where it went. Shadow hears the side. <laughs> Jesus. Shadow hears the sounds of electric engines. He steps out of the room and into the small hallway. He looks around. The hallway is empty. He hears the engines again, this time coming from behind a door to the right. Shadow opens the door. Inside, he finds a robot with a red circular body and a long black telescope for a neck. The robot has one large black eye. The robot is plugged into the wall. Shadow recognizes this robot. The robot is a security android, or Eslin for short. Shadow knows this robot types records of everything it sees. The last thing Shadow needs right now is for this robot to see him. He pulls out a chaos spear. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. oh, he pulls out a chaos spear and charges it with dark energy. He enters the room and approaches the robot, ready to destroy it before it can see him. Shadow raises his spear, but stops himself. He notices the robot is looking at him, or rather, through him. The robot doesn't see him. He realizes the robot is blind. Shadow feels stupid. <laughs> he drops the spear and leaves the room. <laughs> the oh, robot's voice God. buzzes through the air. All right, I got defied. Unregistered creature detected. Entry denied. Voice authorization required. A hatch opens in the robot's body, revealing a screen. A keyboard pops out of the screen. Voice authorization. <laughs> A hatch on the opposite wall opens, revealing a red button. Shadow looks at it, wondering what it is. Shadow presses the button. The screen lights up. The keyboard disappears back into the robot's body. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> 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 no, I wish. That'd be so good, yeah. Receive voice authorization. <laughs> Welcome, Master Chief. <laughs> the robot's eyes turn from red to green. Threat identified. Unregistered creature detected. Entry denied. <laughs> the robot floats into the corner of the room and shuts off. Moron. Jesus. Shadow leaves the robot behind and searches the complex. He moves quickly through the hallways, staying alert oh, for fuck. anything out of the ordinary. He keeps his distance, never letting anything get too close. He then hears a familiar voice. It's the scientist he's meant to locate and watch. Shadow follows the sound of the voice. It leads him to a large room filled with scientists working away at their computers. He looks around, trying to find the voice's owner. He looks to the left. He looks to the right. He then sees him in the back of the room. Dr. Gerald is at a terminal, reading through some files. He doesn't realize his microphone is on, and he's speaking out loud. 
And those idiots think I killed them over a few stupid mistakes? You know what? I would! I'd kill a hundred children <laughs> this company alive. The man giggles, as if the thought of murder is amusing to him. Oh my god, he's the Joker! Oh god. He's the Joker! <laughs> he's the Joker! He's Jeff the killer! <laughs> uh, I'm not even supposed to be here! <laughs> Gerald closes the file in his hands and gets up from the terminal. He's about to leave, until he spots Shadow hiding in the shadows. His eyes widen in fear. He's here. Silver's not very good at this game. <laughs> Shadow steps out of the darkness and approaches Gerald. Gerald trembles in utter terror. You were saying... I wasn't saying anything. Gerald seems to know who Shadow is and why he's here. Liar. Shadow steps forward and grabs him by the collar of his coat. He lifts him into the air. Why did you lie? <laughs> Don't you know that lying is against the Lord's plan? <laughs> I'm going Thou to make lying not. illegal. Gerald is unable to speak. He can only tremble in fear. Shadow sees a Dr. Wyatt across the room in a similar predicament. She too is in a state of fear, but her expression tells Shadow she'd rather die than show fear. Shadow huh? drops Gerald on the floor, and he looks at her. Why would a doctor thrive around death, but be afraid to die? Holy <laughs> shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. That's kind of raw, actually. Yo. That's <laughs> raw. Holy fuck. shit, That's a really good line. <laughs> he walks over to the woman and lifts her into the air. She gasps, too terrified to scream. Shadow takes her over to the tank with the G-type. The what? Gerald, uh, Gerald <laughs> watches in horror, but does nothing to intervene. Do you know what this is? <laughs> Coward. What? What did he Shadow say? Shadow ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this is? Pulls out a hairbrush. <laughs> Starts tapping on it. He points at the tank. The woman shakes her head. <laughs> Liar, liar. He drops and her. Stop! Liar. Leave her alone, you monster! You're a monster, and I'm the hero. The hero does not kill. Oh, the woman no. struggles to get back up, but upon hearing her words, Shadow drops her again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, wait, you're right. That's one of the Ten Commandments. <laughs> What did you say? You heard me. And it turns out I actually didn't hear what the fuck <laughs> did you say. Wait, this next part is really raw too. Okay, yeah, you yeah. fucking heard me. And what would you know of it? A weakling doctor too cowardly to act. Suddenly, Shadow's communicator chimes in. It's Vector's voice on the other line. Shadow! The mission has been scrubbed! The government is on to us! <laughs> You're being ordered to head back to HQ immediately! Understood. I'll be there shortly. He looks at Gerald and Dr. Wyatt. The mission will just have to wait. <laughs> he flips his communicator off and considers his options. He could stun them with a stun gun, knock them out with a gas bomb, or simply kill them. <laughs> what? Please choose! Okay. <laughs> what? This is the meta of Silver play in the game, though. Yeah, it does! Oh wait, wait. Please choose one. A. Stun gun. B. Knockout gas. Oh my god. C. Kill them. Alright, everybody! C. Everybody I'm watching this B. video, go ahead and post in the yeah, comments vote. below. <laughs> Click on those annotations. <laughs> Click on this annotation a and you'll be in the, the description. Video. Here's what I, I need vote. you to do. I need you to write a letter. I need you to write a letter to your local government office and I need you to tell them your choice. <laughs> Send your choice to P.O. Box right, 420. Right, right. I think we're getting the results in. Uh, seems to be C. Kill them. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Kill! Yes! Yay! Woo! Kill! Woo! I'll tear them apart. As Gerald and Dr. Wyatt wait for their fate, Shadow laughs maniacally and takes a step towards the two of them. Gerald closes his eyes and braces for impact. Dr. Wyatt is the same. Shadow grabs Gerald with unnatural speed and holds him in the air. Do you know why you're... Experiment failed. Experiment? 
You mean the ultimate life form? <laughs> that was no experiment. It was an unadulterated forward progress. I mean, just look at what it did to your friend. Gerald presses a button on a nearby console. A screen lights up with security footage of the battle between Sonic and the ultimate life form. Sonic lies on the floor, taking his final breath. That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, maybe not, but it's what made the project so interesting. And it's what gave me the idea. Shadow drops, Gerald. Idea? Yes. The idea that by creating life, you can avoid death. Avoid death? You can't avoid death. You can only postpone it. Precisely. Gerald smiles as if he's just won an argument. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> Gerald, Gerald Robotnik is a skeptic I YouTuber. So I am so smart. So smart. <laughs> Anytime somebody says something in contradiction. <laughs> Let's uh, say, for the sake says, of argument. Exactly. Shadow, why don't they just sell their houses and move? <laughs> Shadow, why do they call it oven when they ov in the cold food out hot? <laughs> Tell me, Shadow, if we evolved from monkeys, then why are there still monkeys? <laughs> they should just Come print up. money! Sell their houses to who, Gerald? <laughs> Fucking Aquaman! <laughs> Come now, Shadow. If women are oppressed, then why Cyber? <laughs> Hypocrite that you are, for you trust the chemicals in your brain to tell you they are chemicals. <laughs> All knowledge is ultimately based on that which we cannot prove. Will you fight, or will you perish we like a dog? <laughs> and yet you are in a society! Curious! Oh God. Vector chimes in again on the communicator. Shadow, please <laughs> tell me you're on your way. I just got done telling you I was. <laughs> Stop <laughs> nagging me, Mom. Jesus. Shadow glares at Gerald and uses chaos control to teleport out of the room. Gerald sighs in disappointment. Bye. <laughs> no more fun. The video cuts to static, <laughs> then goes back to the news report. The anchor is standing in front of the ruins of Station Square. What was that? Foot? Was that all recorded? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that on the screen? I think it was, the, I, it was the video shit. of Sonic. No, that, I was, think... that was on the screen of the, of the PlayStation 2. Yeah, the video I, of Sonic I, I dying. That's true. Oh, I just assumed yeah. it was yeah. supposed to be like an avant-garde <clears throat> cut. But among the rubble and carnage, remaining citizens of Station Square just have one question. Who was behind this destruction? And what happens when they return? Hungry for more. Exterior, city streets, day. Yummy. Sonic the human struts down the streets, a cigarette <laughs> hanging from his mouth. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> what the god, that's so what weird. What happened? You know, wait, 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 wait. His clothes are heavily gothic, and his hair is dyed an obnoxious shade of red. <laughs> he saw a bunch of preps, three. and he put up his middle finger at them. <laughs> He's turning into a crest punk. <laughs> He's turning into shadow. <laughs> My town. Bad guys better watch out. I'm gonna kick their asses. He laughs at his own terrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so where to? Sonic spies a trio of figures sitting in a park bench. They're heavily damaged, and they seem to be covered in scales. As he gets closer, he realizes they're robots. Hello. No scaly bot. Let's what go. the hell? Sonic looks around. There are dozens of the figures, all similar to the three on the bench. He walks over. Sonic leans forward and squints, trying to read what is left of the plaque at the base of the bench. He manages what? to make out one word. Friends. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> These are clearly friends. Oh, shit, is this the bench from friends? friends? The robots are littered throughout the city. All that's left are their exoskeletons, broken beyond repair. As he walks back to the bench, his communicator begins to beep. He flips it open. What? What? Shadow! Why aren't you at the base? Not Shadow. You got the wrong number. Screw off. Why is Sonic on the same line as the Bell <laughs> line? <laughs> oh my god, the callbacks. It's all, it's all connecting. It's all coming together. Actually, I don't think I have. <laughs> Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> what, what does that mean, Vector? What? The, the confidence. Same. 
Imagine if, like, you got a call from a stranger and you just told them, sorry, wrong number, and they told you, no, it's not. <laughs> That's happened to me before. So you've lived this whole story, then. Every single act of this, yes. You know how this ends. Wait, this script is nonfiction. It's telling the story of Sophie's life. <laughs> Sonic says, that's right. I'm, I'm Sophie. I'm okay, Sophie. Okay, so, 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 I'm so Sophie the human. Who's who's being played by? Who's, who's the user? <laughs> oh, shit. The camera pans out, revealing dozens of these robots scattered throughout the city. Vector, it's Sonic. Shadow's on a different line. Is there something I can help you with? Actually, yes. I'm sending you a video of what we saw in the news. We need your help identifying it. The video footage begins to play on the small screen of the communicator. It shows hundreds of these robots, identical to those that litter the streets of this forsaken city. So, what do you think? <sighs> this is definitely the work of the- A tremor shakes the earth, knocking the communicator from Sonic's hand. He scrambles to recover it. Shit! What the hell was that? An Aftershock, probably! We're on the outskirts of Station Square! <laughs> what? You're still on that bench? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey there, we'll come to you. How did he know about the bench? How did he know about the bench? He's got satellite. They're bench. FaceTiming. Because he was <laughs> over <laughs> on the <laughs> bench. Uh, yeah, come on. <laughs> surveillance <laughs> state. Yeah, that's right. He's a well, well, he's, he's, right. Right. he's, he's the head of a surveillance problem, state. Though. He's a head of a surveillance state. He's a head of a Here's the problem. Were you, you not paying about, attention? Though. How do you know they're invisible? <laughs> well, <laughs> because they're walking around in circles. They're walking around. Walk around. It's, it's, with hat it's that the... easy. You but need to find the like man the... in the tight okay, suit with the glasses. Okay, okay, but the question is, who is the man in the tight suit with the glasses? You are, Alfred. Wait, wait Alfred. What? It's Alfred. Me. Get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> the invisible satellite. <laughs> <laughs> the communicator line closes. Sonic pockets the device and sits down on the bench. On top of the robots, I guess. From out of view, we hear Amy's voice call to Sonic. Sonic! She runs up to his side, panting. <sighs> Please, stay here. This is no place for someone like you. Her voice trembles. It's clear she's terrified of what lies ahead, but feels obligated to see it through. Sonic sighs. He feels he has no choice but to help the girl. He takes her hand in his, not knowing whether or not she'll accept his assistance. Amy... What are you talking about? Of course I'll help. <gasps> you will? Sonic nods, mm -hmm. smiling at her. So <laughs> she gives him a big hug. Oh, thank you. I promise I'll do everything I can to help you too. He chuckles to himself, amused by her <laughs> Oh god, I hate this word. Amused by her naivety. Na naivety? Naivete. 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 Nativity. Amused by her nativity. <laughs> Amused by her nativity. <laughs> Amused by her naivete. If if she only knew the things he's seen, the monsters he's fought. The two walk towards the wreckage of the train station. On the way, they pass another bench with another plaque on it. The plaque reads Daedalus in large, fancy letters. What does that say? Daedalus in large, fancy letters. <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> she points to the plaque. Sonic looks at it, squinting in an effort to read it. Ah, oh, Daedalus. Strange. That's the same name as I heard during my uh, transformation. What? What's it mean? He thinks for a moment, then shakes his head. No, I'm, I'm sure about this. It was the name of the scientist who did this to me. He takes a few steps, then turns back around. The city's layout is very simple. A road leads into the center where the train station is located. All the, <laughs> all the other roads branch off from it, creating a perfect grid. Let's start there. They continue walking. The sun beats down on them, and soon they find themselves drenched in sweat. Ew. Oh, yeah. Nasty. As they walk, Strange no strange noises sound in the distance. Whoop, whoop, Occasionally, a strange person walks by, staring at them with dead eyes. <laughs> There's something very strange about the city. It's as if it's not quite real. As if the inhabitants are all nothing more than ghosts. I am a ghost. <laughs> well, they did get killed in the last episode. <laughs> yeah, they all died. Yeah. Like... They reach the train station. In the end of the road. In front of them is a short wall. And then the tracks beyond it. Nothing else is in sight. <sighs> This is it. She sighs and wipes her forehead with the back of her sleeve. A moment of silence passes between them. 
I have to leave now. <laughs> Sonic nods. <laughs> It's like a Time fucking toddler. To just like, that that. I have to go now. <laughs> I was gonna say your, your delivery, it, like it, it, like it's written as if it's like, like, like wistful, but the way you delivered it was very like. Okay, I'm gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese now. I have to go now. Like, My planet needs me. Like, Mom and Dad don't talk anymore. Oh I gotta go. Sonic nods. He doesn't try to convince her to stay, or even say goodbye. He knows it's for the best. I just wanted to thank you for all your help. She wraps her arms around him in a big hug. I'll never forget you. Sonic wraps his arms around her, giving her a reassuring squeeze. He closes his eyes as if thinking, God, I wish I could come with you. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to die. <laughs> Goodbye. She turns and begins to walk away. He opens his eyes and releases her from his grasp, watching as she disappears into the city streets. Wait. Sonic turns back around. He looks down at the plaque on the bench. The same bench she is sitting on. He picks up the plaque and reads it. <laughs> I love it because it has the energy of like when you're you accidentally like like get too far away from an NPC that's like expositioning. Yeah. And it's like it's like they're still talking about the world building and stuff, but you're like like exploring yeah. and picking up physics yeah. objects it's and it's shit. <laughs> yeah. Or like when you think you're done with the conversation with yeah. someone yeah. and you start walking yeah. away, yeah. but then it's they like keep talking. You're the like, War of oh, Gilgamesh uh. happened in 19. <laughs> 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 Greetings, traveler. Have you heard all about how the <laughs> Anyways, I really. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, no, guys, guys, guys. See, the thing is, we we, we fucking finally figured out. We figured out the trick to making comedy is just to move, <laughs> and just move further away from your your. Literally, area. anything you say at all can be really funny if you just. <laughs> it's no, no, like, no, but like, it's, it's working. It's, like, it's true. It's, it's true working. because the more times you tell a joke, the funnier it gets. <laughs> is this how it works? Is this how it works? Hello? Yeah, you're getting closer, Jackson. Ooh, ooh. Jackson, you're getting closer. Stop. Is we're going to be... Uh... Well, Jackson, you're looks so like close. It's you, got it, you got it, bud. You got it, bud. You got it. Okay. All right. I, I, Man, I fucking love monkey watch. Ch check out this line. He looks at the bench. The plaque is gone now. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Okay. Well, yeah, he picked it up. He was haunted it's that whole time. He was reliving something. He rubs his eyes and looks again but it's still gone. Daedalus, who was he? Why did he do this to me? Sonic tries to recall the night he transformed into what he is now. He tries to recall where his name, Daedalus, came from and how it entered his mind, how it became the key to his confusion. But nothing's there. It's all black. Darkness. It's maddening trying to remember. Shadow. How did he remember all those years ago? He was once lost, too. He must have some secret to remembering. Sonic had to get in contact with Shadow. Fast. He would know what to do. He always did. Perhaps with his help, this mystery could be solved. Sonic takes off down the road, following it through the city streets. That feels like an actual Sonic story beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Meanwhile, the ghost of Shadow appears that to him does. saying, Hey, really annoying uh, not being able to remember <laughs> Sucks, anything. Sucks! Huh? Done it! <laughs> God, Shadow <laughs> must know the secret to remembering. Just period. Just, uh, of course, yeah. yeah. He's, How does he's he so good know? He's really good remember. at remembering stuff. He's so he's good remembered at all kinds of things before. He is so the best at remembering That's, that's his superpower, is, is, is past sight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I glanced down and Keep saw going. the fucking wall of oh, text Jesus. waiting for me. Interior, City Hall, evening. Silver and Knuckles sit in front of the PlayStation 2 screen. <laughs> Knuckles is in awe at the information he just learned. It makes no sense to him. Wait a minute. Your shadow? That can't be right. I've seen shadow and I've seen you, and you two are nothing alike. 
That's because Shadow was a creature of pure darkness and negative energy. He's Holy pure shit. evil. Good luck with this next <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what Holy I was talking shit. about. <laughs> you got <laughs> most scared. No. <laughs> that's not what evil is. Trust me, he is. But I'm getting off topic. Shadow was once a normal hedgehog until one fateful day when Dr. Eggman attacked our village. He killed my mother and destroyed our home. But it wasn't just any village. It was a place called Soliana, a haven for hedgehogs and a place of great magical power. As most fairy tales do, this one starts with a princess. Her name was Elise and she was the princess of Soliana. She was my love by all, especially my father, King Gerald. She was beautiful. What? So <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! And Prince wait, there's a wait, 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 She was beautiful. Soliana was a small kingdom, but it was rich with magic and the land was very fertile. The people there were happy and my family ruled them well. I was an only child, and one day I hoped to rule at my father's side. That was until Dr. Eggman came and burned it all to the ground. When the attack began, I wasn't in Soliana. I was at an offshore paradise kingdom called Epirus on a school trip. Epirus was a very rich kingdom, and the school warned us to see how the upper... And the school wanted us to see how the upper class lived. <laughs> you are the fuck? Look, I get it. Sad past and all that. That still doesn't explain how you and Shadow can be the same person. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. This fucking reminds me of when my, my brother was a toddler and I'd be looking for something and I'd be like, Hey, 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 Sean, do you know where my, my, my Game Boy is? And he'd be like, yeah. And he'd take me into like every room of the house being like, it's not that, in here. That's really cute. Uh, that's <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> oh, there's a lot to take in here. But that's what this feels God. like. There's a lot to take in here, but I'll, I'll wait until the rest of this is done before I God. say anything. Cool. I'm getting to that. As I said, it was a Friday. The day wasn't over though. We were having a picnic. The teachers wanted us to <laughs> The teachers wanted us to stay the weekend, but I really wanted to go home. It was my dad's birthday on Sunday. I remember I was feeling down on that day. Everyone at school was friends, but I had what no one fuck? at home. I just wanted to go back to Soliana. The adults started arguing amongst themselves. I wasn't really paying attention, but it was something about maintaining a low profile and not wanting to start any trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble, so I quietly packed up my stuff. I left the school in the riding home. Oh, I left school and was riding home on my hoverboard when I saw something headed for the surface. It was a meteorite from the ground. I guess. Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going. I rubbed my eyes, but it didn't go away. I saw a glimpse of something shiny falling from the meteorite, and then it exploded. <laughs> the king and queen of Epirus were in the <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Keep going! <laughs> 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 were in that meteor. <laughs> they died on one impact. That's how I remember it. <laughs> 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 Sean sure, sure Silver must have gotten in trouble for that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get in trouble though. Oh, I'm oh, 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 together, but I didn't show up the next day. They looked for me for days, but they never found me. I changed too much. Next two lines are extremely important. <laughs> Silver. Okay. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Let's just get back to oh Shadow. My God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Originally looked like Shadow, and then he was hit by a meteor, and now I he's guess. silver. 
Maybe. So a lot to take into <laughs> that is that Elise was the princess of Soliana, but also Silver was part of the royal family and an only and an child. Only child right. Which means that which means that Elise had to marry into the family, which means she kissed another fucking hedgehog. <laughs> oh my no! god! Damn it! No! Too many hedgehogs to kiss. Oh, she can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> Chase, take it away. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tyler, the creator. Okay. 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 Tails and Eggman enter the room again. Tails is carrying some sort of toolbox, and the doctor is carrying a big metal briefcase. They put them on the okay. table and open them up. I'm done. Are you? Yes, I'm done. Let's see if this does the trick. Tails and Dr. Eggman take two electrodes each and attach them to their heads. They make sure they're secure. <laughs> Then flip a few switches on the briefcase. Inception? <laughs> Don't worry. It's perfectly safe. I wasn't worried. You were thinking it. Nope. Yes, you were. <laughs> well, we'll stop thinking whatever it is you were thinking then. <laughs> what the fuck? He flips another switch. Electricity begins to course through each of their bodies, but they don't scream or make any indication of pain. Instead, okay. they close their eyes and tilt their heads back. Doctor! What? What if it doesn't work? It'll work. But what if it doesn't? It will work! <laughs> Can you at least give us a percentage on whether or not it'll work? No! <laughs> Let's try to get along, shall we? He flips the switch again, and soon they all fall unconscious. Cut. What? Interior chaotic Bye. building night. <laughs> Interior Chaotix building, night. Rue steps into the main headquarters of the Chaotix, Book of Prophecies in hand. She sees Shadow, Vector, and Charmy all excitedly discussing plans for their next mission. She walks up to the group and slaps the book down in front of them. You know, not to sound ungrateful, but for a, for a, a subplot surrounding the Chaotix, I would assume that Knuckles would be a little bit more I'm nope. sorry, that I tried so fucking hard, Chase. Where, no, where's Espio? <laughs> I, I think it's- Where's I Espio? Espio is a character in the Sonic Hedgehog comics. Got it, yeah, sorry. Espio in this. Espio the Chameleon is a character in the Sonic Got Hedgehog it. Sorry. comics. Got it, sorry, sorry, of course. Come on. I think Espio's been around the whole time. He's just invisible. Yeah, he's just- He's the invisible- Yeah, but he's the invisible satellite. He's the invisible satellite. Oh my god. How would you know if he was invisible? Oh well, you God. see, because then Vector will be wearing a tight suit and sunglasses. See, it's, it's, yeah. it's so easy. If you want to find the invisible Chaotix member, just look for the satellite in a tight suit and sunglasses. Yeah. Yes. Daedalus. The three chuckle. <laughs> so, you went and read it then. You know damn well I did. What's this? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> that is the ancient journal of an ancient mage. He made lots of predictions, most of which have already come true. Ancient predictions. Yeah, big whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Daedalus? I, I told you about him. He's the guy I got these powers from. You never told us his name, let alone that he had a journal of prophecy, or that he intended to turn our friend into a weird human man. I never met <laughs> him, so how would I know? Stop talking in circles and explain! Oh, I'm sorry. I thought your brain was uh, big enough to handle it. <laughs> I'm really going to eat your ass out! <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> Fine. He opens the book, turning to a page that has symbols and letters written in blood red ink. You guys ever heard of the Harbingers? Oh my god. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Don't! Does it ring a bell? There was some sort of cult that worshipped Dark Gaia around the time of the Middle Ages. And? I don't know, that's, uh, that's all it says. Who <laughs> 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 snatches the book and reads the passages for herself? Jimmy! You're lying. I literally just read this a few hours ago. Then why the fuck are you asking? <laughs> I'm not I lying. wanted to see if you knew. <laughs> I'm not lying. And what's the point of all this anyway? The point is, we're in a whole heap of trouble. If this Daedalus has it out for you, then he's probably not going to be the only one. Hell if I care. 
By the way, what's all this about someone turning into a human? You <laughs> seem keen to skip the details of that part. You're not gonna like it. I already don't like it. Just tell me. Sonic the Hedgehog has been transformed, seemingly by Daedalus, into a human being. No one knows how it happened, but he was killed and resurrected in that form. Once he came to, he met with us at City Hall and beat the shit out of Mayor King. <laughs> and, and you let him get away with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this next one. He's the fastest thing in existence. He's not getting caught by a bunch of fucks like us. <laughs> Damn kids today! Getting all the powers? What the fuck is wrong with kids these days? You know things? me? A crocodile? <laughs> We're back to that again. Maybe we should just focus on our next move. Good idea. Probably the first one you've had. We need to... Sorry. I'm going to oh. eviscerate you. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. We need to find Daedalus and bring him down. How exactly do you expect us to do that? He's probably hiding out in some abandoned castle where nobody dares go. <laughs> Good thing we don't fear the impossible, then. We'll just camp out there and wait for him. <laughs> and when he arrives, we'll take him out and bring him back here as prisoner. What if he's got some sort of magical protection? What if he's got a lot of magical protection? What if he's only got a little bit of magic? <laughs> what if he's got all the magical protection? I swear to God, I will not be the one to fall to some mage. I fucking hate wizards. That whole good. sequence feels like something that would, we would actually come up with on a dub. Yeah, yeah this is like yeah. dub dialogue. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 this is actually the best line. This is like Moon Logic I need to adopt for like the future dubs. I don't think he's likely to have protection against us. He's probably expecting the military to come after him, not a bunch of super-powered animals. <laughs> so, where are we gonna search? Suddenly, their conversation is interrupted by the door to the office slamming open. On the other side stands, speak of the devil, <laughs> Sonic the human. He locks eyes with Shadow pleadingly. Pleading? Mm. Sonic begins what? to speak, but Shadow shuts him down immediately. Don't even try to plead your case. You know damn well what you did. Sonic nods, looking defeated. Shadow, I understand you're pissed. I mean, you have every right to be, but I'm begging you, hear me out. I need help, and it's something only you can help me with. <sighs> Make it quick. I haven't got all day. Sonic nods, breathing deeply. He looks at his friends nervously. I can't remember anything. Nothing after our talk in the hotel room or before waking up like this. Shadow, I know you of all hedgehogs understand what it's like to have a piece of you missing. I need to know how this happened. What happened to the city? Why I feel almost joyful when I look at the state it's in. I need to know. <sighs> so, that's your plea then. You're just going to shamelessly appeal to my sense of loss. For a time before I had my memories taken from me. Well, I have a plea of my own. A warning to you and your little friends. Cross me, and I'll do worse than take your memories. Shadow turns away from the trio before stopping. Shit. You did this to me? Quiet as shit that's <laughs> ever been uttered by a man. <laughs> Not exactly. I just didn't stop my subordinate. He strictly follows orders. That's how he became a commander in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, Robbie's dying right now. <laughs> Whoa! That's so funny! Fuck me! Just <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up, turn away go! Oh shit. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn it's so fucking like, funny! Like he accidentally gave it a, like like he meant to do a cool turn around, but he like tripped on something. He just admitted that he took his memories. <laughs> he <burned himself. laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that shadow line again, Ryan. Uh, uh, not exactly. 
I just didn't stop my subordinate. He strictly follows orders. That's how he became a commander in the first place. He points to a nearby soldier. Get rid of these assholes. The soldier salutes before a bunch of them restrain Shadow's friends. Let me go! Let go of me, you stupid fuck! <laughs> the soldier knocks out a protesting Charmy easily. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. I love no, the enemy easily. Really easily. <laughs> easily. <laughs> Shadow shakes his head before turning to the rest of the group. What a terrible waste of resources. They're children! So were the soldiers that died under my command. <laughs> We all make sacrifices in the name of victory. What the hell are you playing at, Shadow? <laughs> Stop Shadow 2012. What would have been? Shadow 2012! Holy fuck! What would Elise think of this? Killing children, even if they are monsters, it's not what she would want to kill children, even if they are blue boys. Sonic I caught Shadow on the holograms. Killing <laughs> I thought you were smart, yet you still haven't learned anything. Fine. I'll assist you this once. Shadow waves his hand over his face, and suddenly, it's as if an illusion He's begins to fade away. You can't see him! <laughs> his figure morphing away from the familiar and revealing what? something new. What? Something sinister. Huh? And something unexpected. The transformation completes, and in front of them, where Shadow once stood, stands Daedalus. Daedalus begins to chuckle, a low rumbling emanating from his throat. <laughs> Daedalus? What the hell? <laughs> oh, you never suspected me? Shadow said you were dead! No, he didn't. Yeah, that's a penny line. Penny line. <laughs> he didn't know. I used my power over the mind to make him think I was dead. Why? No one said you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> I needed time to plan after that fool Dr. Eggman attacked my home. He calls us monsters now. He's the one that unleashed horrors upon this world. I didn't say that. Me? Shut up, me. <laughs> I'm just using my gifts to better the world. That's bullshit, and you know it. Sadly, few see it that way. You're right about one thing. This world does need help. It doesn't need help from someone like you. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Wait, why is it? I guess I guess it's a shadow. <laughs> I I do like a fucking Jekyll Hyde situation where I you turn back to shadow. <laughs> you twitch, I, you I, twitch I, really quickly, and your head turns into shadow. <laughs> <laughs> to do nothing is ever enough. You can never be happy with what you have. Exactly. You're slowly going insane and don't even realize it. Who Wait, when I'm going is? insane. Now, where is the real Shadow? Yeah, uh, I'd like to get back to my mission. <laughs> the real Shadow is dead. He has been dead for years. You just didn't want to accept it. Soon, even you will abandon your mission and join. Sonic, me. you have to forget about the accident. It was 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you need to move on. That, that's why Amy faded away and the plot wasn't there. <laughs> Holy that's shit. that's oh why God. they went to like just like a fucking busted Wait, up wall. And that's she why was just all like, the residents of the town now. She faded away at a, <laughs> right. at a oh train my God. station. <laughs> the trio look at each other, concern evident on their face. Shadow the Hedgehog, dead? Dead? Interior, Mayor's office, night. A beaten up and broken Jason King, the mayor of Station oh, Square, okay. limps into his office. Sonic the Human beat him within an inch of his life. And now it's time to take his revenge. For the good of the city, that monster has to go. He approaches his desk. Suddenly, the door slams shut. You don't mind if I turn on the lights, do you? A sinister and... Wait. <laughs> no, read, don't read, read that line! <laughs> <Then followers. laughs> the this, is this, is fucking, this is Gerald breaking the boy wall. Dude, sarcastically, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Jason t- Jason tur- turns towards the voice and is petrified with fear when he sees who it is. Gerald Robotnik. Not who you expected. Don't worry. Most don't. What, 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 what do you want from me? Oh, just a chat. The room is illuminated, revealing the devious smirk on Gerald's face. He sits in a chair, with two more behind Jason. Please, have a seat. What What do you want? I want to talk to you about Eggman. Uh, oh? You helped me once, didn't you? When he was framed for... <laughs> you helped me once. Oh my god. <clears throat> You helped me once, didn't you? When he was framed for murder of dozens of people, you defended him. What do you mean framed? Everyone knows he did it. Idiot! The man was too smart to do something so stupid. He didn't actually attack that village. To think otherwise is neither naivety or simply revisionism. What are you getting at? You're more intelligent than that, King. I'm saying that the government, specifically the military, framed him. For what purpose, I can't say. Go on. Well, if you insist. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, I don't have proof, only theories. However, I can safely say that this is no simple conspiracy. You may be familiar with Project Shadow. (laughs) (laughs) It was a little more than a decade, my guy (laughs) The government project from over a decade ago? You're saying that it actually existed? Oh, it did And it still does I don't believe you If this was the case, the public would have been made aware of it a long time ago Of course they wouldn't That's the whole point of a secret project (laughs) <laughs> but the shadow we have now doesn't even remotely resemble the project specifications. So <laughs> stupid. Wait, <laughs> this next line, Wait, idiot. But, hello? Hello, King? Anyone home? I <laughs> gotta think. You gotta think. Hello? You gotta think. Wait, King. wait, wait. Think. Next line. <laughs> but the shadow we have now doesn't even remotely resemble the project specifications. I've seen it with my own eyes. He can't even change into a human. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Dude, what? Not without extensive surgery. <laughs> However, <laughs> that was never the intent of the project. He was to operate alongside the so-called good guys as a double agent. What? <laughs> Look how well that went. He helps them on day on a daily basis. Some double agent he turned out to be. All the better. As far as I'm concerned, at least this way, I can keep an eye on him. What? Please, Mr. King, <laughs> as head of the anti-rebel government task force, I'd what? be a poor excuse for a spy <laughs> if I couldn't tell when one of them had gone rogue. You're saying there's a mole in the group? It would appear so. Jason looks out of his office to the foyer of City Hall, where there on the floor lies Tails, Knuckles, Eggman, and Silver. So, is it Eggman? Gerald steps up from his chair and heads over to the door. That's a very intelligent guess, Mm. but I'm afraid I can't tell you that. Goodbye, Mr. King. Jason stands and grabs his sleeve to hold him back. No, wait! Tell me what's going on! Gerald closes his eyes and sighs loudly. He then turns to the mayor and looks him square in the eye. Very well. If I tell you, you must swear to me that you will never reveal the contents of this conversation to anyone. Ever! I I swear. Gerald takes a deep breath and begins his tale. The public story is that the project was discontinued due to it being insufficient, overly expensive, and ultimately unsuccessful, and that's only because that's what the government wants you to think. Gerald turns and heads back to his seat. He sits down and looks at the floor, reminiscing about the past. The truth is, we had a success of sorts. The problem with it was, it 
couldn't control it. He pauses again. Surely you remember the Daedalus Initiative. <laughs> what? It was a government. It was. It was a government job. All along. Oh yes. Forgot the public wasn't supposed to know about that. It was a joint military civilian experiment developed right here in the capital. It was meant to create a new form of super soldier. One that would benefit the U.S. no end. But something went wrong, as it always does. Gerald hesitates to answer. That's putting it lightly. One day the project just disappeared. All funding was cut off, all research was destroyed, all staff was missing. What happened to it? No one knows! One day it was there, and the next it was gone. Literally, the only remaining evidence. Gerald looks at the glowing PlayStation 2 console on the table outside the room. That was the game that it was apparently based on. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, what is going on? Oh, what is going on? Okay, keep going. What game? A game called Shadow the Hedgehog. A game developed by the research team themselves, based on the exploits of one of the candidates. The government made a game about one of their experiments? Mm -hmm. Gerald nods. Seems silly, doesn't it? But yes, they did. And it's classified as one of the US military's most embarrassing secrets. <laughs> Why? Because the final sucks. product doesn't look anything like the genuine <laughs> article. Sucks, dude. The government spent millions of dollars on that project, and all they got in return was a fucking joke. Oh fuck! I'm gonna pass out. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. What the fuck? The game is a joke. Far from it. The game was a blueprint. The joke is the final bill. Gerald once again glances outside to the bodies on the floor. What did the final product look like? Imagine, if you will, a creature that shares the strong build and intelligence of a human, but with the speed, reflexes, durability, and appearance of a hedgehog. A, a hedgehog? Yes, a hedgehog. And not just any hedgehog, but the incarnate. <laughs> Read, read that line! No, read that line! Read that line! Devon, read it again! Read it again! Read it again! Read it again! Straight face! Straight face! Read it again! From the top! 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 Run it back! Run it back! Yes! A hedgehog! And not just any hedgehog, but the incarnation of Satan himself! That's what the project ultimately yielded. Gerald. <laughs> Gerald points outside to the unconscious body of Silver the Hedgehog. <laughs> that monster oh, out there is the final version of the Daedalus Initiative. He's the only surviving prototype. The others were either killed in containment breach that happened about a decade ago, or they vanished with the rest of the project to unknown whereabouts. Why was a hedgehog chosen to be the candidate? That I do not know. The files on that were among the few that were destroyed before the government pulled the plug on the project. Gerald gets up from his seat once more. But of course, that's all the contacts I have for you. What you choose to do with it is entirely up to you. Meeting over. Gerald heads to the door and opens it. Wait, that's it? Meeting over? I have nothing more to say to you on this matter, Mr. King. What about me? What am I supposed to do about Silver? That's your problem, not mine. <laughs> Gerald exits the room without another word. Jason's eyes nervously follow him out the door, but then dart over to Silver once again, lying there. No motion. Jason slowly gets up from his seat and starts heading over to him. He's still nervous. He doesn't know what the Hedgehog is capable of. Hey, asshole. You're not dead yet. He gives Silver a push with his foot. He groans, but doesn't open his eyes. Hey! 
When you wake up, I'm going to kill you. Slowly. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The mayor of a city, by the way. Holy shit. <laughs> he gives him another kick. He groans once again. And this time, his eyes open a crack. <laughs> he groggily sits up, clutching his head. Uh, fuck. My head feels like shit. He looks over and sees that it's Jason standing nearby. Hey, dipshit. Hello, devil. <laughs> Hello, devil! <laughs> great. <laughs> fucking great. Glad to see you again. So what's new? A lot's new, actually, but I'm sure you don't care about that. Following... Oh, that's you. I'm fucking tired, dude. I'm so done. <laughs> I can't fucking stand this script, dude. <laughs> it's almost over. Following mm. suit, Eggman, Knuckles, and Tails all slowly come to. Where, where are we? Tails and Knuckles look over and, based on the look in their eyes, see each other for seemingly the first time. You! What the hell are you doing here? Me? You're one to talk? What are you doing here? Wait, 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 what's going on? Yes, what, what is the meaning of this? Tails and Knuckles immediately go to barking at each other, not answering any questions that are directed at them. Ah, oh dear... Glances at the PlayStation 2 and the headgear lying on the table near them. I'm not sure if this machine worked like it was supposed to. What? What? What's going on here? Looks at the headgear. It would appear, points at the headgear, <laughs> that the virtual reality systems worked as planned. We got into the game all right, and we're able to look around for Intel. All standard, except I think something may have gone wrong as we exited the simulation. Thank God for that. Looks at the group. Did anyone catch any sight of that damn egg carrier or one of the missing Chaos Emeralds? No. Just used to Tails and Knuckles. But our friends here may have lost their memory. What? <laughs> Tails and Knuckles don't answer. Instead, they just continue to look at each other with a mixture of fear and anger. Speaking to Tails, what's wrong, little one? <laughs> what? <laughs> what's <laughs> wrong, <laughs> this little child? <laughs> <laughs> what's <laughs> wrong, little one? <laughs> Tails seems to be struggling to form words. Eventually, he settles on growling at Knuckles in anger. What? Well, Spe Fox growls. Speaking to Knuckles, and you, big guy? Knuckles' response is to bark at Tails, but not in anger. Ah, ah, it's more like ah, he's trying to ah, provoke ah. him. Ah, 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 ah. They, dude, they, their fucking programming was erased. They turned back into animals. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? I can't, I can't wait, believe. okay, wait, continue. Yeah, they're fucked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, well, uh, I guess we're moving on. I don't even know who the fuck decided that this group would be more effective if we split up, but they're an idiot. They're stupid. They're dumb. Idiotic. Like, <laughs> Eggman exits the room without another word. Jason shrugs and begins to follow. Silver watches the three leave. Whispering to himself, are the groups falling apart? Oh. He, too, exits the room. As all members exit the room in sequence, the camera hangs behind. Ominously, we begin to slowly pan over to the screen displaying the PlayStation 2 on the table. As we draw closer and closer, we see that the screen is displaying the first level of Sonic Adventure 2. After a moment, a hand enters from the side of the screen and changes the channel. What the hell is this shit?